So we've got our base coating all done. We've got um, Ming Tian on his um, snowy parts. <clears throat> and what we're going to do now is use the warm white and our stipple, our stencil brush. It's a crescent stencil brush. And with the dry brush, we're just going to load paint in there and smoosh it on the palette so that it's not glommy. And then we'll just stipple and allow some of that. If we get up on our black, which I'm not going to worry about, I'm just going to rebase where I got. You don't want to scoop up the paint, you just want it kind of light. Okay, give them a little snowy look. Need any green in our snowman? I just made a mess on my palette. Okay, if you think you need to go back, you don't want to cover all the mink tan. That's going to show the depth of the snow and give you that textured look. Okay, and then go around the whole thing and finish them up. Okay, we're going to use our Mississippi mud. We're going to shade our snowman on the snow. Bury his little face there, he's freezing. So now we'll shade his sweater. <clears throat> On littler objects, you want to keep your float just a little bit narrower. So you just do that by not loading quite as much paint as you would normally. Not as wide, necessarily. And your float can be a little bit drier than it normally is. Now we're going to use our red and we're going to add stripes to our scarf. I'm going to add pretty wide stripes. I got something dried on my brush. Okay, now with our thinned green going to add the in-between stripes. These are nice and thin. Okay, we want to shade on the scarf with a really fine float of black plum. And underneath all the details, that'll make things disappear and go, you know, back and forth, back behind and stuff like that. We don't want it so big because if it's big, then it'll look pink in the white areas, and we don't want it to be a pink scarf. Just want to give it a little bit of depth. Okay, now we're going to do this little face. Some little eyeballs on him. Right about even with this little nose. sparkle in his eye. We need to rub on a little cheek color. Do that with our red. Use the, the crescent stencil brush and dry off everything. And then just rub it right over on the sides. It just blushes enough. Add a little fringe with our red. We want to add some white snowflakes. So I've got my fine, my mighty fine liner, which just does a really awesome fine lining job. Seems to last pretty good too. Some snowflakes on this little sweater. Different size ones. Okay, I'm adding some little just dots in between my sparkles. Shade his nose. 
a little bit of the black plum. Okay, when you glitter, it's good to glitter on a piece of paper. I'm going to use um, DecoArt's multi-purpose sealer, and I'm going to apply some of the glitter where I want on the colors that I want um, the glitter to stick to. So I'm going to make his green mittens be nice and sparkly and be generous with this. Not too soupy so it runs all over the place, but be generous so that it, the glitter has something to stick to. Okay, and then to give him a little bit more dimension, I have a Glistening Snow Rider by DecoArt, and it has glittery snow type stuff. And we're going to make his little cuffs here into a puffy, glittery stuff. And then the other thing I want to do is I want to take a little bit of this and I want it to be like snow dripping on his hat. I'm going to dance them up here, of course. You can have fun with this. You can pretend all kinds of things. And then, of course, it's going to drip down over here. So now we've finished our little glamorous snowman. You just put him over the top, and he pops the tops of your paint bottles.